Hello, and welcome to Composer Toolbox, the show that looks at the techniques utilized by film composers and how you can practically apply them. In this episode, I wanted to take a very quick look at some orchestration techniques in The Empire Strikes Back that you could possibly add to your Composer Toolbox. Specifically, I wanted to look at some of the really interesting string writing in the cue Crash Landing. In this cue, Williams and his orchestrator, Herbert Spencer, packed many different string effects into the writing that create very interesting textures and sounds. To start off the cue, the first and second violins play some high, eerie glissandos that add to the muted trombones underneath. But just telling the players to do random glissandos starting on a single note would probably be really harsh and overpowering. So a string technique is employed here called harmonics where the player lightly touches the string, creating a soft and hollow sound. On top of this, though, the strings are also divided into different parts. The 14 first violins are divided into four parts, as well as the 12 second violins, putting only about three to four players on each starting note. Again, the divisi here works to create this hollow sound. But moving on, we later see another string technique at work, which I'm sure you're all very familiar with, tremolos. Here, violins and violas play tremolos, but the ten violas are divided into four parts, allowing the most sound to come from the first violins, which are playing the main ascending line. After this, we can see the celli and basses playing a really cool fast quasi trill resulting in this rumble effect. After this, the first violins are divided into four parts with some sustained tones. The divisi here would allow the pizzicato strings in the following bars to be heard very easily under the first violins. Next, we see the celli and basses utilizing some pizzicato. The purpose here seems to be to add some foundation and support to the muted horn and woodwind lines above. Now, the last thing of note is, once again, Williams and Spencer's cool use of eerie string glissandos. Here, we can see that the first and second violins start off the glissandos, but instead of using harmonics this time, a slightly different color is produced, with the first violins divided into four parts, the second violins divided into five parts, and the violas also divided into five parts. The resulting sound is a little more present, but the many divisions and parts keep it in check under the solo woodwind lines. From looking at these, I think these are more or less just mainly a good reminder that you can use strings for more than just melodies and chords. You can use them for different sound effects, or also as ways to support whatever you've written in other instruments. I think it's very important to be creative and inventive with how you use the orchestra. That's really about it for this video. If you like these more bite-sized videos, please let me know. And yes, I know not all of the information in this video is super new for some of you, but I like to have some videos geared toward more of the younger aspiring composers, because I know I myself am one. But as always, if you love what I do and want to support me in exchange for some rad benefits, then please consider supporting me on Patreon, because every little bit goes a long way. Anyways, thank you for watching, and I'll see you later. Goodbye.